Well, Dr. Gordon and Linda coming at you. We're, we were going to be outstanding in our field, but we're not because it's raining today in East Tennessee. So here we are. Facebook Friday, Linda, coming at you from South Eastern Fertility. Real tree. The real tree, that's right. And uh, this is our uh, Good Friday uh, edition, Linda. Yes, it is. It is, of course. Good that's right. Of course, you know, Good Friday is a strange thing to call really the day is. That, that, that Jesus was yes. really yeah. mm -hmm. Do you know the derivation of Good Friday? Yeah, I don't think anyone's really sure about it. Maybe the Romans yeah. did? No, yeah. <laughs> they thought it was a good day for them to put down the insurrection. So, I don't know. I mean, you know, but I think there, are, there are different theories out there. I was listening to actually a podcast by uh, Sinclair Ferguson that was sort of, he was opining about why he thought it was called good. You know, and, and some people said it's God's day or God, you know, so Good Friday, you know, God's Friday in terms of what God had done for the world. I don't know, it's just to say, it's a strange thing, right, to think it it's good, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, but it's such a sad day, and of course, mm -hmm. then the joy that comes with Easter, right, it's like, yeah. right, it's like, um, so there, you know, I was, I was raised Jewish, right, and, and of course, you know, the Last Supper was the Passover meal, right, you mm -hmm. celebrate Passover, and so here's an interesting thing, so I went off to college, and uh, I was in the cafeteria at Princeton, and it was like the day after Passover, mm -hmm. right, and when they still had all the matzah out, right? The unleavened bread, yeah. right? And uh, I said to my yeah. friend, I said to my friend, <laughs> I said to my friend, <laughs> Danny, I said to my friend Danny of Bramowitz, I said, Danny, like, what's the deal with all the matzah still being out? I said, you know, Passover's last night. He goes, John, Passover lasts a week. I was like, get out. I said, I had no idea. The Gordon household had barely lasted through the meal. I was like, oh, not a big fan of matzo. So you're like, Claire, get the bread. So, um, you know, so just, I had no idea. You know, it's just an example. Is I, I ultimately became a much better Jew as a Christian than I ever was as a Jew. And I learned much more. So then Alice and I are watching, you know, something on Ancient Mysteries, like this mm -hmm. TV show. And it was talking about the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know. Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? The Ark of the Covenant. Okay. So no joke. Okay. Alice was horrified by this. Okay. No joke. Okay. I went to that movie when it came out with 81, I believe, right? That was a long time ago, yep. Right. 81 or 82. Right. So we mm -hmm. were in, in Salt Lake City at the National Speech Convention, uh, National Speech Competition. Our team had been eliminated. We ultimately came in like second or third in the country. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we were all sort of sad that we'd been eliminated. So we went to go see this new movie that had been released for no internet. No ability to watch movie trailers, right? Mm -hmm. So it's lost, you know, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. And we're like, what is it? I mean, the only arc I knew was like the big boat that Noah had, the little animal on it, right? Mm -hmm. I said, what, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And so we go to see the movie, and I'm thinking, wow, this is incredible, right? What an amazing movie, right? We, you know, amazingly, and it, was. it was. And, and I was like, I told Alice, I said, I didn't know there was an Ark of the Covenant. I thought it was just something that they made up for the movie. And she's like, it's in the Bible, you idiot. I said, I, you know, it's a, I mean, I just, I had no idea. What did you learn in Hebrew school? I said, well, apparently I did not learn about the Ark of the Covenant. So, right? But I'm like, I was like, I had no idea that it was in the Bible. Did you know what? No, when I saw it, it was a long time. You didn't either. Ah, there you go. See, that's why we get along, right? So it's just, so, so not, see? You know, but isn't that amazing, right? It it's is such a, and yet it obviously a huge Old Testament thing, right? Oh, yeah. The box of the the Ten Commandments was carrying it and carried in front of the, the you know the Israelites, and they were victorious in battle when the Ark went before them, mm -hmm. right? And it's there. And they it's all there. They couldn't lose. It's all there. And then I thought it was just made up for the movie. Pathetic, right? Pathetic. <laughs> yeah. The level of biblical knowledge in this country. <laughs> This is, that, this is, you know, I mean, I'm older, well, right? I have to I, mean, so I, I was a teenager. Yeah, and so was I, but I'm just saying, you would have thought that, but, you know, that I would know anything about, but anyway, so, so sometimes we are surprised by the things we don't know, right? Well, I'll tell you, I learned more about the Bible when I started teaching Sunday school for the two and three-year-olds, then, because I didn't have Sunday school at the church I went to, it was a primitive Baptist church, oh, okay. we did foot washing. Oh. Yes, we okay. did. Oh, all right. But we didn't do Sunday school. Wow. Okay. And then you got then you were charged with the, the Sunday school. For two and three year olds. Wow. Whenever I had my two. Okay, that's a challenge. Because nobody else. That's a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a challenge. <laughs> yeah, we, had, we had a little two year old here. So yeah, we had a little two year old here for transfers today, and oh, she yeah. was 
She was giving she everybody, she did not she... like it. She was, yeah, she was kind of wondering what was going on. And she was letting everybody know that. So yeah, that's exactly right. So, um, but you know, sometimes we don't, you don't even know what you don't know. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. so this week I was doing a, one of our free doxy calls and um, we were talking to a patient about IVF and we were sort of talking about the, you know, the natural cycle, the mini and the regular. So I had no idea that there was any other option except what I had been told mm -hmm. and what I had done. You know, where she'd done, you know, full stem, PGT, you know, freeze all, come back for frozen transfer. Well, that's all they offer. That's right. That's all I offer. So, I mean, she, she, just, I, she, she was sitting here. She, I'm just sitting here stunned. I am stunned. <laughs> Should I just, I had no idea you were going to even talk about anything like this. I don't, I can't even get wrap my head around it because she had come in with a preconceived notion of like, well, this is how it will be. And then, you know, mind blown, right? I mean, she was yeah. saying, I just had no idea. But it's nice right. to be able to give them a choice. It is. It so is. So they can see which one works. That's right. That's right. That's right. So mind blown, right? So it's just the same thing, right? Yeah. Like Passover last week? Who knew? <laughs> right? You know? The Ark of the Covenant is real for the Bible. Who knew? Right? I mean, yeah. right? And, 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 you know, and, and, <laughs> and, 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 with, and with the death of Jesus, the, the movement didn't end, right? Because exactly. Easter was coming and nobody knew it. Right. Right? So we look forward to the joy of Easter, right? And on Sunday. on Sunday, even though you're, I hope you're not busy. You're, not, you're sort of on call. But I am on call. You're though. on call. So far, we're going to schedule away from it. So <laughs> anybody who's thinking about surging on Saturday, just don't. Don't <laughs> surge on Saturday. Miss Ovulation Fair, you just stay. Stay. Stay, stay, right. stay away. away. Stay away. Go away. Until Monday. That's right. Until Monday. <laughs> All right. Well, at some point, we'll do our uh, Facebook Friday Outstanding in the Field when it's stop raining. Right? And uh, that'll Maybe be fun. next Friday? Maybe next Friday. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see if, if Mark can get a good internet connection enough to do it. I, it's not on me. It's never his fault, right? I mean, you want to go out to be on Mark's fault. It's not the, the social media director for Southeastern Fertility's fault. I mean, whose fault is it, Amanda? I don't know. Definitely your fault. No, I, I want to be out there. I do. Right. Right. It'll be great. All right. Well, anyway, uh, wishing you all a, a happy and healthy Easter weekend. And uh, we'll see you. Don't eat too many. Have you ever had those? We had the at church, we had the Peeps eating contest. Oh. You know, those, those, those things are yeah. disgusting, right? And I remember, like, one of my son's friends, <laughs> I think he ate like 15. And how long did it take him before he started throwing? I didn't see him throw up, but I was thinking this could end really badly. And, you know, uh, my grandkids all love those peeps, oh, and I can't stand them. I tell you, the fruit punch ones look interesting. Those are a new innovation. I don't love peeps, peeps but the yeah. fruit punch ones look... I would try one just for a taste. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those, those orange circus peanuts. Yeah, those yeah. Things, those things are like, man, it's like, who invented that? You know? I don't know, but I can remember not getting very much candy when I was little. I would eat it. Candy. Well, there you go. Any yeah. well, choice. I'm all right. Well, well, we know who's going to be eating the grandkids' Easter basket this week. Right? <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, you all have a wonderful weekend, and uh, we'll see you next week.